what's going on YouTube? This is Terrell. I just want to show you how you can add a reference line to a bar chart in Excel without much difficulty. So to do this, first we want to go to our data and then make a new column that's to the right of the data that we already have. So let's just say we call this max because we want to reference line showing the maximum amount of sales for any given day. Then we can just use a max formula to get the max for the range that we have. So equals max, highlight the range, and close parentheses. Now we're going to use dollar signs, we, we, um, so or the F4 key, to lock in the cells. So that way the, it will stay locked as we drag this down. So now as we drag this down, as you can see, it will show the max is staying as 99 for the range. It's with dollar signs um, between the numbers and the letters, locking that in. So then, what we're going to want to do is we're going to click the chart. Where after clicking the chart, we see some icons to the left that kind of show up. On or on the right, sorry. On then uh, we're going to select like the third I the icon on the bottom, chart filter. Where after clicking that, we're going to go down to the bottom right and then click select data. After clicking select data, we're going to want to just basically add a new series. So here we have is one for sales that just shows um, the sales that we have right here. We're going to want to click add to add a new series with series name being max. And then this is just basically going to add a new line. So series value, we want as 99 right here. Click OK. And then click OK. Now, as you can see, it's not what we're looking for yet, right? Because it is just showing up as um, another bar next to the one that we originally had. But we can make this to be a combo chart instead of a bar chart in order to be a reference line. So to do this, we go to chart design, change chart type, click combo chart. And then we can see right here, sales is a clustered column, but the max is as a line. Click OK. And then now, as you can see, this is serving as a um, as a reference line. I just say one of the average instead. Put that down, and now we can have it as average. It might take some adjusting and formatting to get this to work exactly like you want it to look exactly like the way you want it to. But at a higher level. This is what we can do to have a um, reference line in a bar chart in Excel. And of course, you can do whatever fancy formula you want to have, whether you want like a rolling three day average or rolling 20 day average or what have you. Um, but yeah, that's a quick and easy way to add a reference line to your bar chart in Excel. Hope you found this to be useful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.